Well, I've been asked to do a video on the zero clearance throat plate for my Delta table saw. This, uh, this is the new one I was just making. Now I did a whole video on this whole, making this whole thing for you. And I don't know, about 10 minutes into the video, the camera stopped and I thought, what the heck's wrong with the camera? So I turned it back on and proceeded on with the video. Finished it all up. And uh, plugged it into the computer and to get my video and nothing on the camera. I thought, what the heck's going on? Well, gee. Being the expert photographer I am, I forgot to hit the record button all that time. <laughs> so, now it's done. So now I can't show you step by step how it was done, but I'll show you the basics. This is a strip that was underneath. Turn this over. This, but that's the back, the back of the table saw. This is the front of the table saw. This is what I had in here. Originally, it's a one piece. This was a piece of pine. And uh, I used the router and routed the pine all the way around the correct depth so that this would be level with the top of the plate. And I had to cut away a little here for this stepped area back here at the back. And all in all, it's kind of a pain to make. And plus it was too thick. It hit the bearing the arbor bearing mount here and it, I think that was where the push button went to lock the arbor and I think I had to cut a little bit here for my dust dust uh, shield or whatever you call it that I made and I cut a notch here for it so I made the new one the new one's made out of three pieces of wood I started out with a piece of hard maple piece of scrap that I had and I first planed it exactly the right thickness to fit in this slot and uh, it fit just perfectly you don't want it too tight because it'll spread the slot apart and warp the plate so it's got to be just the right fit and once I did that I used an eighth inch round over bit and used that on the ends across the end here and rounded both sides of the end. So now I got little rounded corners here on, on each side, both ends. And it's cut to length. So then I put in the table saw and ripped the piece off. I think it's about three eighths thick high here. It's six up three eighths of an inch. It was sitting there like this and I ripped off the piece and I stuck it in the slot and then I cut two strips these happen to be oak two strips of oak they're a half inch wide by eighth inch thick both of them and cut them to length in my case I had to go clear to this third screw that I put in and uh, I had to cut a notch to go around this back clip and a notch for this thumb hole. And if I was making a new one from scratch, I would probably not put this third hole here. I would put four holes. I'd put one here and uh, one there. And then you wouldn't need this one on the very end. And then the wood wouldn't have to go out here to the end. It could be cut off right there and there and uh, after I got all three pieces fitted then I put the center piece in the router and took a quarter inch bit and routed down into it a little ways so that when you sit it on the table saw when the blades clear down it, it can still freely turn because the blade doesn't go down much below this plate so after I did that, I set the strip in the center, push it down against this flat surface, and put uh, 
Tight bond, CA glue I use, the thick kind. I put a little bead of that along the edge of the strip and push the strip up against it. And in a minute it cured. And first I waxed this plate real good, hoping that the glue wouldn't stick to it. And I've never tried that before with steel, but I thought, well, it should come off. Anyway, then I did the other side the same way, put the glue on it, push it up in there, held it for a minute until it's all hardened. So voila, it's pretty much done except for drilling my holes. And I decided, well, let's pull that off of there and it wouldn't come off, it's stuck on. I don't know how tight it is. I might be able to pry it off, but I didn't want to ruin it. And it doesn't really have to come off. If it held good enough, if it didn't have the glue, you could probably, or didn't have uh, the wax on here, if it was clean, probably you could leave it glued on and no screws. Just glue it on with CA glue and leave it that way. So uh, then uh, when I got, when the glue was all dry and hard, I put it in the table saw and cut the slot. So it, with the blade clear up, that's as far as it cuts it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And this last little bit, I marked it off so I can put it in the, uh, either a jigsaw or, uh, or uh, the scroll saw probably to cut this out the rest of the way for the riving knife. And that's pretty much it. It was really easy to make. <coughs> Darn it. Now oh, I've got coughs now. Heck, heck of a time getting a decent video. Anyway, that's about all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You really can't angle the blade because if you do, you'll you widen that slot out. It'll be close, but it won't be exact. What I do is buy another plate. Uh, there's a, a parts replacement place on the internet. They're $24 a piece. I just got another one. Made one for the 45. And a third one would be nice just for odd angles where you could just leave it out. So that's about the size of it. I have to say that was pretty easy to make. As long as you don't mind it glued on, which I don't, so. Well, that's enough to show you how it was done. I wish I had the original video. It was a lot better, but. Anyway, here you go. We'll see you later. Bye.